in this video, I discuss a fleeting thought I had on composition. Is composition really and truly a tool that you can learn? Tune in. One, two, get that! What is the deal, beautiful people? My name is Ramon. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, we talk about any and everything photography. Composition. Uh, something you hear a lot about in photography. And I, I get it. It's, it's a cornerstone, right? It's arguably the most important thing. Uh, it lends to the end result of any art piece, which, which should be storytelling. Uh, so yeah, I, I understand the importance of composition. That's not what this video is about. Understanding, truly understanding composition can be an uphill battle for a lot of people. And I'm not saying that as if I'm on some sort of high horse. I'm saying that because it was an uphill battle for me. And based on the amount of resources that I've seen put into trying to explain what composition is, I think a lot of people have the same struggle. And yes, there is a textbook definition for what composition is. And yes, it kind of does make sense. And as you go off the deep end on your journey to understanding composition, that textbook definition sort of makes less and less sense. But strangely enough, as you emerge on the opposite end of your journey to composition, that textbook definition sort of makes more and more sense, right? It's, it's like, it's crazy. So here's a textbook definition of composition, the nature of something's ingredients or constituents, the way in which a whole or mixture is made up. See what I'm saying? To me, the journey of composition, of understanding it, of embodying it, that's where the real work begins. It's it's when you sort of you sort of take what you've learned from a technical aspect of your camera and the and the the triangle, the exposure triangle. It's when you take those things and and now you you put the the boost to the ground and say, okay, well, how can I how can I fit composition into this? How can I use these tools to sort of align to what composition is. That's that's the real hard work here. For me, I think the most important thing to understand is that these rules of composition are not truly rules. There are suggestive rules. Rules like the rules of thirds, rules like the rules of numbers, and even something like leading lines. These exist because there were hundreds of thousands of artists before us, and there are people who are very, very keenly dedicated to this, to, to the art form, and they study what makes the greats. And these are sort of the common trends that they find, um, they find among them, right? And then they sort of say, okay, well, if these guys are so great, these guys and gals are so great and we can identify a lot of common things between them. Maybe we should make these the rules and I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is the word rule because when you imply that something is a rule, it says to me it's absolute. There's no room for other than. There's no room for otherwise. There's no room for you to do it another way. And I don't quite agree with that. And I, I don't think that's where composition is as a whole. So that's that's something very important that I want to make sure I explain. In my personal experience, composition has not been a tool that I've been able to wield at will. A tool I've been able to wield at will means anytime I approach a scene, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly how to do it. And I did it and I've done it and I will continue to do it. That to me is a lot more in line with your understanding of the exposure triangle. That to me is more in line with your understanding of focal length and the lens you choose and the camera you choose to accommodate the scene 
be it you need something with with high megapixels be it you need something with low light capability these are all things that you can wield composition not so much for me composition is about feeling composition is about a vibe composition is about a general energy around your purpose and there are three key things in there that i pay very close attention to when talking about composition uh one is the subject there needs to be a vibe of the subject right and the vibe of the subject is going to really lend to the story that you're trying to tell there needs to be a vibe in the scene again that scene is going to to align itself to the story you're trying to tell and then the third thing that's very important is it needs to be my vibe as the photographer how am i feeling about the subject and the scene and is this the right time to make magic i think it's not until these three really come together that you can truly say to yourself the composition in this image is about to be decent <laughs> right because he didn't make it yet that's that to me is the vibe i pay attention to but before i proceed quick break i want to ask you a question what are your cornerstones in composition what's important to you when talking about composition have you ever thought about it Hit the comment section down below. I'd love to read that. I'd love to further that conversation. And just so you know, in the links, in the links in the description below, you'll find in the description below, you'll find links to uh, my, my portfolios, a creative and a professional portfolio, my Instagram. And I have a new Discord group that I've created for us to hang out in and just have a lot of casual conversation back and forth. And I look forward to seeing you guys over there. So let's further that conversation about composition being a vibe, right? In street photography, there are some, and street photography is particularly difficult for this very same reason. There's often not a subject that you can control. You know, you're waiting for a subject. So in street photography, you sort of imagine your subject meeting your, your expectation and you usually pick out your scene first all right i guess if you're going fishing is what they call it right so you find a scene and you go ah oh, this is dope and i can see i can see a woman coming through here with her red handbag and then the way the shadow is hitting and the way the angles are like whatever this is this is it for me right i imagine a subject a man woman or a child uh, i guess a popular one would be like a woman holding a, a umbrella or a child holding a balloon or a businessman walking through with his briefcase the scene how is this scene conducive to the subject i imagine walking through here and then there's me right these two things and how i feel when someone does walk through here is this the correct person does this feel magical? Is this moment something I want to capture? Does this Is this moment aligning itself with the story I want to tell? Is this the correct subject for the correct scene that can tell my story? So here are my three elements at play, right? There's a vibe that I'm looking for between the subject and the scene. That needs to be special. And then I have to have an agreeance with that vibe for me to hit that shutter. And to me, these these are, 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 this is the recipe that really makes that final image special. And let's be clear, I've got a ton of images where the vibe of the subject and the vibe of the scene were amazing, but I just wasn't feeling it. It just didn't, it's not the story I'm going after. And those are the images you'll never see. You'll never see the light of day. But then there are images where subject is good. Scene is good. I got my settings dialed in the camera and I'm excited for what this could look like. And I hit that shutter button. Those are the images that I'm willing to share. But how do we come back to the textbook definition of composition? I think I satisfied it, right? Because I'm telling you, it's 
this image is not made up of one or, or, or just one particular thing. This image really is a sum of all of its parts. It really is the ingredient. It really is the subject, the scene, how I was feeling. So yes, I got it. But now we, we think about the rules of composition, right? And here's where it starts to get tricky. Are there leading lines in this shot? Did I think about leading lines in this shot? Is there a rule of thirds there? Am I capturing this subject in a way where there is there is a lot of empty space where the subject is walking towards? So it gives it this feeling of this person's got a long journey. Or did I oddly place the subject facing out of the screen to or, or the scene to give it this uneasy feeling of just against the grain or am I photographing the subject walking away and into the leading lines which gives it a nice touch of mystery and wonder uh is there is there three things in this element the the, the rule of numbers are there three things that are red are there three things that are in motion? Are there three symmetrical things that exist in this shot? Three trees, three poles. What's going on here? Is it the rules of odds? You know, is there is there four red things and two blue ones? Are they interacting? Like all of these things are kind of like, okay, I get it. And 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 this is what really separ separates us or say, let me just say me, I don't want to make any assumptions on your behalf from the greats of photography. I'm still struggling with how to wield composition according to how I define it with that vibe between subject, scene, and myself, but also satisfy these so-called rules of composition. But then it gets even deeper because everyone will tell you, you need to know when to break the rules. So perhaps I have pictures or I've managed to capture an image in a moment where the, the vibe between the subject, the scene and my feelings all align, but there is not a rule of thirds to be found. Is that still a good image? There is not a leading line to be found. Is that still a strong image? Because I understand a lot of the things on the back end, and then there is my work that I've actually put a, a lot of time into. It's a very confusing thing. Is that I, well, maybe I shouldn't say confusing, a very conflictual relationship I have with composition. And when I hear people talk about composition, uh, they use it in a very absolute way. And, and oftentimes I don't relate with that. I don't think composition is a tool that can be taught. I don't think it's a tool that you can learn to wield um, on demand. I, I think it's something that you can, you can come into understanding. You can come into respecting. And then you just, sometimes you get lucky. And, and all of these things, these recipes all blend together to really create special moments and special images. And I'm not confident enough to say that every time I step out and I go to do some street work or even some landscape work or cityscape or portrait, whatever, I'm not truly confident enough to say that I am executing on a compositional level 100% because I really and truly don't feel like I'm in control of the, the, the end result of composition. I feel like I'm in control of the technical aspect of my camera. Uh, I feel like I can be in control in the scene that I choose and the subject that I, uh, I envision, but how these things come to, come to play and then the very matter of fact of leading lines and rule of thirds, to some extent I am in control of that, but I, if I can't execute on every single shot, then I'm not comfortable saying I am in control of it. Very complex subject for me to talk about uh, because I am not in full agreement with a lot of the uh, the guidelines that exist around composition, um, but I still adhere to them. So yes, it's a very complex topic, very difficult, and and I want to know. I want your feedback, how you feel about composition. Am I overthinking it? Am I off the rail here? 
Tell me how you feel in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you will. Stick around, plenty more content coming. My name is Ramon and I'm out of here. Peace. One, two.